Hey everybody, it's Paul again from Ballistic Blood Bullets. I'm here today for a video uh, contest entry uh, for Carry the Zero, aka Jarrett, a uh, great guy uh, on the community and uh, showing a lot of cool memorabilia, uh, films and posters. He's got a great collection of posters. Really nice guy. Um, do check him out. I'll put his details underneath. Um, he's, as I say, he's, he's very kindly running a competition at the moment. What he's asked us to do is pick out a, a film that we originally watched and weren't too impressed with and uh, have sat down and watched again on a second, maybe even a third occasion to try and give it uh, another viewing and uh, another reassessment and seeing if our views change. Uh, the film that I have picked out is uh, one that um, should be well known to pretty much everybody in the, the horror community for, for certain and that is the infamous uh, Blair Witch Project. I say infamous because it's a film that um, really picked up a, a hell of a, a following and a, garnered a, a large revenue because of its incredible uh, manner in which it was shown and advertised through the internet and uh, certainly in that respect, all credit to it, it, uh, it did a fantastic job. Um, but I, I, in fact, on the back of that, I got a group of friends and told them, hey, this is the coolest thing that's going to be coming out for a long, long time. Uh, it's using the same sort of uh, shenanigans and uh, lost film footage that was originally used way back in the 70s with uh, Cannibal Holocaust. Uh, certainly my view is that Cannibal Holocaust leaves this standing and uh, I also am sad to say that when I saw this at the cinema, we saw it at a cinema that, that I initially thought the sound in the cinema itself, which was a fairly new cinema setting out, was atrocious and that I really attributed for why my experience with the film wasn't that great. I mean, the sequences when they were in the tent in the woods and there was supposed to be some evil force outside and it was shaking the tent and all these noises and creepy uh, sounds were coming. And I thought, I was straining to hear and I couldn't work out what the heck all the fuss was about. Uh, this infamous scene here of the, the young lady who cries into camera. Uh, she's really distraught with all the horrible goings on with the the witch and the curse and the in the woods and the monsters and all this sort of thing that was inferred is extremely cool and to be fair there are some great moments in it uh, certainly the lasting image of the film that stayed with me and, and has to this day is the closing image of the film uh, at its completion that really truly is an, an eerie image that really makes the film uh, something to remember but overall I was disappointed with the film at the cinema picked it up on DVD thought it can't be as bad as that but again, I just felt I wasn't involved in it, and it, it really wasn't that great a film. I felt that just before it came out, a similar sort of film that used the same sort of principles um, called The Last Broadcast was a far superior film. But um, there we are, there it is. That's my entry uh, for Jarrett's very kind competition. Um, so you're pretty much welcome to the Blair Witch Project, my friend. <laughs> it isn't a film that really has appealed to me. But there we are. Uh, we, all, we all have these types of films. But uh, that's my entry uh, to your competition. Uh, Blair Witch Con... Uh, sorry, Blair Witch Project. Uh, one thing I will say, however, uh, which I think that um, Jarrett may well appreciate, is uh, the following. Um, I will just pan around. And here we have it, uh, just for you, Jarrett, which uh, I'm sure has a movie film poster collector, um, you will probably appreciate. And uh, that's the Blair Witch Project original poster, uh, going back to when the film was first released. I forget the name of the festival that it was shown at, but this was a limited edition poster, available only at that, I think, was it, was it the River? dance or something like that uh, festival um, I really forget but um, it was released there initially and it was a limited uh, edition for all those that were attending the first screening 
and I was able to pick this up. So this being an original poster at the time probably is worth a little bit and it's, it is a very iconic picture. Um, but uh, that's the, the poster. So uh, there we have it. That's the film that I've never really been able to get into. Um, but as I say, we all have those films that uh, we we forgive and forget. Uh, this is one that I really choose to overall forget. The Blair Witch Project. That's my entry for Jarrett's competition. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate uh, time and trouble, and uh, see you all soon. Thanks for watching. Thanks a lot. See you soon. Take care. Bye for now.